for this example, we need to complete this trace table with a nested for loop. So a for loop inside another for loop. So this is quite tricky. So it starts with 4x in range 1 to 4. So x will start with 1. Then it says 4y in range 1 to 4. So y is now 1, starts with 1. Then we do the output print x times y, which is 1 times 1, which is 1. Now, a lot of students will go back to the top and increase the top by 1. Now, that's incorrect because we're still inside the for loop. Now, we're inside this for loop. So now, x is still 1 because we, we haven't finished the inner loop. We have to finish the inner loop before we go to the outer loop. So x will stay 1. It will not change, but y will change. It will increase to 2. Then we have 1 times 2, which will give us 2. Then we go back to the y, and that increases again. So 1 again. Then y will increase to 3. Then 1 times 3 will give us 3. Then we have x. So we've reached, we've reached the end of the inner loop because 4 uh, does not count. So it's 1 to 3 technically. So what we do now is we go back to the start of the for loop. Now x will change to, one, uh, to 2. And then now we're back inside the inner loop. So again, the inner loop will start with 1. So 2 times 1, that will give us 2. Then x will stay 2, we're still inside the inner loop. y will increase to 2, 2 times 2 will give us 4. x is still 2, because we're still inside the inner loop. y will increase to 3, 2 times 3, that's 6. Then we have, we finish the inner loop again. We go back to the start of the top, which is 3 now, because x will increase to 3. And we're back where y is 1, because we're back inside the inner loop. So 3 times 1, which is 3. Then again, x will stay 3, but y will go to 2, 3 times 2, that's 6. And then x will stay 3, and y will go to 3, 3 times 3, that's 9.